Hey guys, um, welcome back to Spooky Island. And just quickly before we get into the video, um, I just want to say that a couple of things. This was recorded um, this morning um, on the Friday, on the 12th, um, before everything happened, before Ubisoft happened um, and Gearbox. And that's what we talked about in the video. Um, but I'm editing this right now. Uh, it's currently 2 o'clock in the morning, Ubisoft happened. Um, we will be doing a post show uh, after everything for E3, but just to let you know why we talk about it, um, I was hoping to try and get it out before E3 started. That wasn't the case, but I will be able to get this up um, before Xbox and that. So I will be covering everything after E3, but just to let you know that we recorded this back then, uh, which is why uh, we don't bring anything up. But um yeah i still hope you like the predictions video me and kai really enjoyed making it um there'll be timestamps in the description as well um so yeah if you want to jump around and, and see what we talk about then there'll be timestamps in the description it should be on the bar as well anyway hope you guys enjoy um but yeah like i say we'll definitely be doing a post show um after everything for e3 um our thoughts and everything so yeah hope you guys enjoy See you in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back to Spooky Island, and today I'm joined by Kai, and uh, we're going to be going through our top predictions or our want list for E3 and uh, EA Play, which is coming later this year. And we've both got down a few uh, ideas, um, and I guess let's just get started. So, would you would you like to begin, Kai? With your... I think we should hit the most obvious one first, okay. to be fair. Okay. I think, to be honest, most people want to see a Battlefront 3. I would that say is the, the biggest, exact I'd same. Say. That's at the top of yes. my list. <laughs> it's the top of, top of mine, too. Uh, yes. I think, um, to be fair, we probably would only get a title screen. Something. I, I agree. Don't think I agree. We'll get much, I don't think we'll get anything. a release date. I don't think we'll get a trailer. I think just to nah. show that it's actually yeah. in development. Mm. I think we'll yeah, just if get that. Like we might not. To be honest, it's a. I don't know. I want to. I don't want to put odds on it, but it's just. It's. I think it's low. Like there's just nothing's really been said. Like it wouldn't surprise True. me if they wait for EA Play in July to do this. Yep. Um. Yeah, I agree. But it just depends if they want to do something like Battlefield and show they a trailer and then show gameplay yeah. on their own thing, which... Yeah. Yeah. But is it, we'll see. We'll see. It, I, I agree. I'm excited because there's so much potential with that. Like, they've got mm -hmm. so much they could do. They've got Mandalorian. They've got... They could do bad batch skins for it. I think yeah. they would get a massive backing. They've got, I think recently as well with Battlefront 2, it's got popular and people mm -hmm. like it. People like doing mods on PC, and they've learned, what they've done, they've got a soaker in there. Mm -hmm. it, honestly, it's, it, it's impressive what the like the mod community do, and I think yeah. with that, I think Battlefront and the people who are like behind it, and the people who make the game, I think we'll know that from the fans what they want, and hopefully yeah. they'll give us what we want for that. I agree. I agree. I think with obviously how they took people from uh, Battlefront 2 who were working on it. For the updates and stuff, they obviously mm. took a lot of them people and put them into dice to work on Battle yeah. Battle, uh, Battle for Six. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was that biggest think... mistake was stopping the updates stop in that it, game? Exactly, because they... they stopped it at the they worst time possible. That. They stopped it when, mm. debatably, one of the worst Star Wars films had just come out. <laughs> yeah. They yeah. ended it with the droids being the last heroes and they still had people like Ahsoka Ventress yeah they like, actually made Ahsoka they I had so they had many pe exactly and they had yeah. so many people they still had and they cut it at a time where the Mandalorian would have been coming out mm. uh they yeah. like season 2 of that Bad Batch Clone Wars yeah. like you could have yeah. done the they new season so much. yeah and it's not even yeah, like oh, Captain Rex reason. as well would have been exactly cool. like it's not even the yeah. fact that they had they, they could have easily got new people to work mm, on that specifically because the amount of yeah. people that would have wanted to do that I think it was just yeah. either a decision where they wanted to cut it now and then start working mm. on something new yeah, yeah. Um, so we've been we've been like here for quite a while without a, like a single Star Wars game like exactly. multiplayer, multiplayer exactly. shooter and it's like yeah. 
they just stopped at the wrong time. Like it's almost like they didn't know the Mandalorian was going to come out, and like, oh, I agree, sick. I agree. It's not going to do that well. We might as well just stop it anyway. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just I, I just, I think, obviously, Fallen Order done a, a lot better than they thought. Mm. Being a single yeah. player game, and I'm happy. I really yeah. like that game, and obviously, a second yeah. one's yeah. coming soon. Yeah. Probably 2022, but in a way, mm. a, a big Star Wars game that they haven't had one in two years. I mean, no. we've got like the arena one coming on Switch, like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, there's, yeah, that, that, yeah. There's, there's smaller stuff like Squadrons, but a big IP, mm. I think this year is probably going to be the same as last, where we yeah. get like a smaller yeah. game. And then yeah, maybe I just, I just hope they don't like just do a spin off for like another multiplayer yeah, the, the shooter, one but not thing, Battlefront 3. The one I think thing it has I, to be Battlefront 3. I, I completely agree. Like, the one thing I don't want is like a spin off with. Yeah. Like either versus you, like I like the character, put her back yeah. in Battlefront Three, but don't give me a spin off just for her and some of the crew. No, no, because yeah. like and I would rather have Battle I would yeah, I would rather have just Battlefront Three multiplayer than have mm. a single player story campaign with, yeah. with her. Yeah. Like I like I played that because it was there. I didn't go and yeah. buy Battlefront Two because of the single player mm. you know I, I think i got it done in like a few days it wasn't exactly. that long <laughs> exactly it wasn't that but long it was it was good i enjoyed it though but it, it just wasn't like the dlc mm. as well was was cool but i just didn't really yeah. enjoy yeah like no that i just didn't really enjoy the fact that it could be a possibility of them coming back and mm. not battlefront 3 so yeah yeah, but yeah. the thing is with the Battlefront Three, it's like they could follow the, like the Battlefield approach with their new game. They could just yeah. add more players, like they, with yeah. the like the new engines and that. There's so much like they could do. They yeah, could fit 128 players in there. They could the, have the more maps, heroes and villains in each touched. game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many maps, man, in the universe. Yeah. Honestly, they could do so many, and yeah. I, I'd I'd be very interested to see how it looks like. With the engine they use yeah. and that, and some it could look really it's just cool. A, anything like I, I, I just, I, I don't even, I don't even know. It's it comes up with Star Wars and it's like mm. a new Battlefield, a new Battlefront yeah. game is in yeah. development. I, I take yeah. that ten times over most mm. of the stuff they're gonna mm. probably. Reveal. I, I, I want them to return to the. Um, to ground to air combat what they did in the fucking exactly. PSP days exactly. like where you could literally just get into a starfire fly up yeah. and then go straight into they space thought, and fight they thought like they could done rubber yeah. with yeah. A, uh, a scrappy version of that in Battlefront 2 yeah. and it's still enjoyable mm. but yeah. half the experience of that mode is that you can actually freely do it rather than mm. just go into a cinematic exactly and, yeah, cool yeah, and I think they could do that with specifically the PS5 because it's yeah. I, I think it's, I think it's got so much potential to do that because with uh, Ratchet and Clank, the new one, the, we we can see the, amount the rifts. Of, yeah, and the amount you can of stuff easily that, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can the amount of stuff do it. they're doing in that that game, I, it has all my respect because it's a full. Yeah. It's the first for PS5, first PS5 exclusive to have that amount of like engine backing. Yeah. Like yeah. you can see uh, why yeah. it needs PS5. And I think it would be good for like all players because at the end of the day, I think there's like a split. Some people like the multiplayer, like the shooters, and then some people like the dog fights and that. But if you combine yeah. it into like one mode, I think people would use both more frequently, and it yeah, would be more of a balanced game. I think it would be really cool to see that. I think. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But yeah, moving on from that. On my second list. Yeah, we talk list, about all day about that. <laughs> we we should we should. <laughs> um, moving on, my second in my list, I have Timefall Three. Now I know I'm a mm. I'm a bigger fan of Timefall than you. You I yes, know you I only the paid game, the beta yeah. for Timefall Two. I I yeah. regret not getting it, but yeah, I'll let well, you talk I, more about this one. Um, I'll just quickly whiz over this. I mean, Timefall Three has been talked about a lot over the past couple of years. Um. Obviously, 2016 was when Typhoon 2 came out. There was a lot of um, there's a lot of errors and mix up and stuff that EA did wrong about Typhoon 2. With Not basically again. there was EA a lot doing of wrong again. <laughs> it, 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 you know what I'm talking about. Then people know what I'm talking about. But they basically like cockbook the game basically, where it was supposed to go for marketing and it never did, and it didn't reach different audiences in different areas, and it got it basically. There was like a percentage of people who didn't really even experience the game when they should have. So a lot of the revenue got cancelled because of that, if you know what I'm saying. Um, 
and it still went on to be a really 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 profitable game for them um and if you're a titanfall fan you like uh, personally i love both games but i would say i prefer two just a little bit more because it was one of the first games i completed on the ps4 it was one of the first games i ever bought for the ps4 um the story to me is 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 so good that there's so many more ways they can take it the only problem i have with a titanfall 3 is the fact that they are back in apex a lot now respawn um, obviously they're working on fallen order and uh, there's constantly been stuff saying that they're going to be delaying it because of apex now i respect apex me and kai have a friend who plays apex quite a lot um <laughs> And I like how they're weaving the law of time for winter there because they're in the same mm. universe. But yeah. I just want them to just just say it's in development because they're yeah. so like it goes Maybe past title year again. past year exactly. I'll take another title. I'll take a little teaser, but it's b- because mm. like years and years go past and it's like oh it should have come out this year. Maybe it'll come out this year. Yeah. And to me, I would just rather have a title and have to wait two years than two years go by and go by and then it's like oh it's here you know um yeah. it, it's inevitable when it comes out i think because um it's a very unique franchise it's a very unique way of having a multiplayer game because the multiplayer and the single player are very very like beloved um but i just think it's a matter of time before it comes out and i'd very much like it to be this year um <laughs> yeah but yeah yeah so I think we'll move on to a little bit of, I know yes. we both have on our list, for Nintendo. Yes. Um, mm. Now, I, personally, I could talk about a couple of things that I would want that have already been announced, um, but yes. we're going to well, try and Splatoon. keep to this. Like, obviously, we'll Splatoon 3 was a massive yeah. ma- massive thing we could talk about all day. Um, whether yeah. that will be revealed at uh, what, Nintendo, and then Nintendo because I have seen at the description of their thing that they are keeping to mostly they said mostly 2021 games now Splatoon 3 is on yeah. track for 22, 22 release whether yeah, that could be August I think it could be late 2022 but honestly I think the fact that they said mostly I think gives us mm. one or two games either unannounced yeah. or in the uh, in the pipeline now i know you're not a big fan of legend of zelda but a lot of legend of zelda mm, fans i respect like my it, brother I, uh, I understand yeah, why people like yeah, it yeah. but it's, i'm not really i'm more of a multiplayer person but yeah i do respect story games um, but but yeah breath of the world 2 has the last announcement for that was obviously the nintendo direct thing where they said there's more information to come this year so i think personally I think it will start off with stuff to do with Breath of the Wild 2 and then potentially end with Mario Kart 9 announcement. That would, for me, mm, be yeah. very good. So, Mario talk Kart about Mario Kart cool. 9, I think we should move on to that a little bit. Um, yeah. Obviously, a lot of people, I think the thing to go against this is how well Mario Kart 8 is doing on Switch. Yeah. It's one of the best selling mm. games on that console. It's one of the yeah. best selling Nintendo games. It's always games. been. Every, every, always every has Mario been. Kart. Oh, and good. Yeah. people say that they can't fun. have a new yeah they can't have a new Mario Kart but there's always a new Mario Kart it's just inevitable when <laughs> yeah, it's going to come out people going. and yeah um, I think I think it's 2014 I believe was when Mario Kart 8 come out and then 2017 mm. was when Mario Kart Deluxe come out for Switch so it's four years yes. since a brand new Mario Kart game I think right now would be the perfect time to reveal it and then yeah, it would maybe be a big hit. So on show it. track exactly, because I know a lot of people that the point against not having a new Mario Kart game is because you're kind of taking away that revenue for the Mario Kart 8 mm. Deluxe. Yeah. But the amount yeah. of people that are playing that game and either all about to get it or do have it now to then see a new one coming yeah. soon, like mm. maybe then they could yeah. put Mario Kart 8 on Deluxe on sale, like they are yeah. doing for Splatoon. Yeah. right now yeah, so, for, for business I think releasing Mario Kart 9 would be massive like yeah. with the new Super Nintendo world they have yeah exactly in, uh, Japan. <laughs> imagine a new ride for that they exactly, could expand that exactly. out and I think you'd get a lot of people there and I yeah. know we want to go that we be... definitely do want to go <laughs> but for but me I right think now, but... it is very awkward right now and hopefully we'll be able to go at yeah. some point but yeah Mario Kart 9 I think is probably the biggest um, I think I've had hope for 
the biggest hope I've had for Mario Kart 9 to date because obviously mm. like we knew for the last Nintendo live they done it, it was going to be yeah. something big I wasn't expecting Splatoon 3 yeah um, I feel like with, with Mario Kart as well it was either going to be this year or next year I, I can't yeah. see it being yeah. any later yeah I uh, think if, if they don't do it this year or next year maybe they, they won't make another one but I'm sure they will because it's they, one they, of their biggest exactly I think for Mario Kart it's very similar yeah. to Animal Crossing because Animal Crossing yes. games come out once every six, seven years, because yeah. they just keep they they just keep selling. And Animal Crossing mm. New Horizons, yeah, it is I, I it's one of their top selling games that's only been out a year. Like, yeah, that was. Is this going to be interesting when they hit like ten? Are they going to go ten, eleven, twelve, or will they just kind of start a new fresh? Well, the, like, the thing is, there's still really, a lot of characters like, of that what... they can put into a new Mario Kart yeah. game, and obviously, the 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 ways between Mario Kart 7 and 8 were quite big like you could go on you could yeah. go over walls because of the, yeah. the like features they put in so yeah it does because FIFA how gets away with it with yeah. each year because but they just... they're a they're a, like a yearly based game like yeah. stuff like WWE and and yes, a lot of EA yeah. properties this is mm. very like I don't think they'd want to put yeah. out a game unless it was good enough and yeah well, we'll already that. announced game WWE. We might see a bit more of that because we got a little trailer, didn't we? Yeah, Rey WWE. Mysterio. I mean, um, I think that could probably be. It's 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 either gonna be like like break break or like make really. It's gonna be good yeah. or bad. Yeah. It's like they they took kind of a year out, missed a year. Uh, a lot. I know a lot of people want to see a general manager mode, and I'm the same. But I'd like mm-hmm. to see that. Yeah. To be fair, um, it's what people want. Uh, I know they also have um, like a lot of potential with the wrestlers they have. Like they've got obviously NXT, they got Raw, they have got yeah. SmackDown, they got NXT UK if they wanted to do that. Um, but then they also on the other end you have like a AEW also making their first game mm-hmm. on console, and obviously they have their own yeah. thing each month where they show a little bit more and that, but. I don't think we'd get anything for that, but I think it would be interesting to see what both sides offer. And I think, in general, I think people like in like who like wrestling and pro wrestling, I think, are quite excited either way for both. Yeah. So it would be good to that. But that's already announced, though. So. Yeah, but I mean, in the ways of like stuff like that, obviously we we will for EA Play we will get the FIFA, we'll mm. get probably yeah we'll get the NBA and the NBA and, and stuff like yeah. that and that's fine because that's what you expect yeah yeah um, it is but speaking of EA whether this is done yes. through EA since obviously we had the announcement a few months back about Star Wars having mm. now given license to other people like we have the Ubisoft game coming soon yes yes whenever that yeah, will it's be all, it's, yeah it's given yeah anyone can that could be it, revealed tonight and we are recording this yes. on Saturday um well, I, hope, that's only, I want to see something Star Wars at least. I, I, I would love to see something Star Wars, and yeah. I think we both, me and Club, both have down a type of open yeah. world bounty hunter game yes. from an unknown yes. developer. We're not going to say we want mm. to be this developer, yeah. but a open world Star Wars game from a developer that obviously yeah. it, we had the 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 thirteen. It's, it's not too far fetched either because exactly exactly yeah because they were working on yeah Boba Fett they, they were working on a thirteen game, thirteen game working on a bounty hunter game they had stuff for a bounty hunter game even, they've yeah, got they stuff there they even revealed for uh, stuff for E uh, three years ago for I can't remember what the game's called yeah um but uh, like a new a new Souls like actual project and then they got scrapped mm. like they yeah EA for the license some people will say they did well some people say they didn't I think that Battlefront yeah. was by far their best but if you think yeah. the amount of years they had the license they could yeah. have done a lot more and obviously they scrapped yeah. like three or yeah. four projects and I think the best thing yeah. for them to do now is give it away and that's that's what they've yeah. done and Star Wars is the story is their main thing and I think it's got so much story like they can do yeah. so much and I think it would be good to give it to like the rights to other developers and see what they can come up with yeah. and I think Fall in Order was a good start and I think it's only like years and years to come they're going to be better and better and better and you'll get more characters hopefully some uh, some canon stuff too some mm-hmm. uh, other characters which people will like to see um, 
I know The Mandalorian done that well, introducing characters from all over the universes, from books, comics, and games. Yeah, and... exactly. Yeah. So, I, I yeah, I, I'd love that. We could see Iden Versio in TV series. We could, that we could. To come, we could. Yeah, it's a lot of potential there. There's a lot. And, I, I, yeah, that's why for them to, like say, give the license away, it, it brings up a lot mm. more opportunities. Yeah. So yeah, it does, it does. And hopefully we can get that Star Wars game yearly or every other. Yeah, I, they, they, they should because a lot of people who worked at the prime days of, of Star Wars games or Lucasfilm games mm. when it was all 2002, 2003, 2005, when they were yeah. like putting out like three, two, three big, big games a year. And obviously it's a lot yeah. easier to do that now. But yeah. like... The expectations are quite high at the moment for it is, it is. what is to come for Star Wars yeah. because there's yeah. a lot in, of work. and in games in general like a lot of games now are getting really bad starts and launches yeah and it's like, yeah, yeah I agree like you, sh- like you kind of expect now every single time you play a game is something's going to go wrong with it on day yeah. one yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. like I'm someone I, I don't try and get that annoyed about it because some um, some game games can redeem companies themselves. don't have that many people yeah true, uh, true. behind it but there's other games you wait a long time and that's not what you expect when you get it, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I agree. But um, another beloved franchise is obviously Marvel, which me yes. and Kai both have knowledge about. Yeah. Um, yeah. I there's There's been a lot of rumours of Flamero lately with a Square Enix possibly having a Guardians of the Galaxy game. Um, mm. I have put down a new Marvel game on my list because whether it is that game, whether it is a yeah. MMO game, whether it is okay. something... Yeah, there's um, a lot of RPGs. There's a lot of RPGs. <laughs> Being announced right now. <laughs> um, so personally, I would like a, another Marvel game. I think a Guardians of the Galaxy game is the perfect yeah. thing to do at the moment with the... Yeah. Do you think they would ever go in, down the route to making another Deadpool game? That would be see that cool. see that that's another good thing. Like Deadpool, them yeah. Deadpool games were really good. They were really funny, man. Them. They were good exactly. games. Exactly, and I um, think it would be kind of unique. I don't, know, I don't think many people would, would expect. Be. It would be, be cool. so like something. Whether it's like that, whether it's like a yeah, uh, the Guardians game, whether it's like a, I would say an X Men game, but like stuff, yeah. like <laughs> in that kind of way of Marvel games, I guess it's it's more down to like. The next studio that wants to do it, um, yeah, I guess yeah. whether they want to take. I guess there there is a lot more pressure with that type of stuff. Cause yeah, because you are handling it with, with, yeah. with uh, obviously a big fan base, and that's why I think Insomniac have done the best. I think, uh, well, one of the best with Spider Man, because they mm, they yeah. take they took three, four, five years to make the first game. Yeah. They come out to a, and then literally two years later they do a smaller game yeah. with Miles, yeah. which I still really. That enjoyed. was really good, man. Yeah, really good. I really and, enjoyed Miles. And obviously, Spider-Man Two is in development now. They said yeah. from 2018 that it could be five years away. That means 2023. It could yeah. be, maybe a reveal at some point this year. Which, to be honest, the first reveal of Spider-Man was in 2016 was which was two years out which i guess is yeah. probably easier now because they have the next gen and they already have the same like mechanics etc yeah um, so i guess it's just a matter of time before the next one yeah but yeah no i think that list. anything yeah. else you've got on your list card before um I've well got i've one got more i've got yeah. a uh, horror based game like okay i kind of like um, Friday the 13th when that was done yeah. it's quite yeah, an old yeah, game yeah. now yeah. Um, but I don't feel like we're not going to get like a follow up to that but I know the developers are working on something and to be honest mm-hmm. I would I would like to see something down the lines of something similar to that but with maybe well, another iconic could... okay. uh, horror yeah. like there's the potential you could have Michael Myers uh, Freddy Krueger mm-hmm. You could you could even make the game on like it or something with Pennywise and have the whole entire like like characters from that in there and on see I think it would be cool to have something like that. I, I enjoyed it. I know we're getting Ash vs Evil Dead, which I'm very yeah. excited for, and the trailer for that I was really impressed with. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm excited for that, but I'd like to see something new, something new down the multiplayer base horror game genre. But um, from that, um, going into like battle royals, I okay. come up with something maybe new for PUBG. So it's been a while since that's out. It has been a while. It has been They're a while. They're doing like... PUBG New State, aren't they, for mobile. for mobile? I thought that was for for everything, but I did think I saw that trailer fresh. and I did think it was it was yeah. uh, for console. But I yeah I agree. Yeah. I think something fresh for PUBG is is a good idea because it yeah it's been years since obviously the first one came out and. I feel like it's a missed mm. opportunity for them to not even remaster that game with the potential yeah. they have now. Um, yeah. Because I think that could do really well. And obviously, like mobile, yeah. I know PUBG Mobile is one of the biggest games out yeah. on mobile. Yeah, it is. It's popular. That's why it is world. getting a, yeah. a sequel. But I, yeah. I, I'd I, personally like to see a, uh, a remake yeah. of that as well. Or even a, a yeah. sequel, like you say. Even yeah. New State, just on console. But Exactly, yeah, they could do that. Just uh, upgrade it. Yeah. Um, Run smoother, play smoother. Exactly. Um, um, but I've got one and then more. The other, oh, I've just got a couple of just things from like TV okay. and film. Go, go this, ahead, go like, ahead, it would go be ahead. cool to make a game of like, like personally, uh, this probably wouldn't happen, but I'd like to see games like from like Stranger Things. They yeah. could have. I know they've got that uh, like eight bit game which I've got, which is good. Oh, uh, we but... we have played, which is actually quite yes, good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But I'd like to see like an actual like full game, mm-hmm. like from Stranger With Things. characters I, that are like. Yeah, yeah, I'd maybe yeah do like a story horror game. I don't know what you could do it like, but mm-hmm. maybe like Alien or something. You could do it like yeah. that, but just yeah, with yeah. Um, obviously the Demogorgon have a good story. Mm-hmm. Again, you could do it similar to Friday the Thirteenth and have Dem- Demogorgon as the kind of killer thing. But yeah. I don't know. It would be cool to see something from them. I know um, Telltale had. Uh, something for Stranger Things, but they did indeed. And I would have enjoyed that, but I don't yeah. really go ahead. Um, mm-hmm. And I'd like to see some game for Cobra Kai because I'm a massive fan of that. But mm-hmm. there's also a game out for that on Switch too and console, which is out. But I, I'd like to see maybe like a like a Cobra Kai fighter game styled like with the UFC kind of, but just obviously karate. You, know, you have like mm-hmm. different arenas for karate and the mats and all that and. You can yeah. create a story based on that, and you could even make like your own character and fight people online. And I think that would be really cool. And you could just kind of choose if you want to be part of Cobra Kai or the Miyagi Do or whatever, really. And all the, uh, or you can create your own kind of own karate group. Mm-hmm. And I, I think it would be cool when you can have all their characters come in, maybe make cameos, and maybe Crease can be in there too. That would be cool. Yeah, I think I think that's a there's an opportunity for whether it's mm. EA or whether it's a, a studio yeah. that kind of not specialises but have done games like that yeah. before. Yeah, I think any like TV or film who try and make a game, if it's done right, I think it would do very well because yeah. they already have a backing. It's not like it's completely a fresh new exactly. idea. Exactly, you obviously they've they got have to claim the... the IP, but you're making yeah. a game which already will have a successful mm. core fan base around it, which is why. Yeah. Yeah. Like you do a game like that, it it not yeah. tends to do well, but it tends to at least get re- the respect that it deserves. Yeah. At least right off the bat. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I have I have one last on my list, which is a bit of a random one. Uh, it's a Switch, and it is a Wii Sports or a Wii Sports type game because I have played Wii Sports my whole life basically back on the Wii when that come out um, and then obviously they done Wii Sports, Resor- uh, Wii Sports Resort which is like a, a bigger version they tried to do one for Wii U um, obviously that console flopped and it wasn't really the most exceeded game and since then since what 2013, 2014 it hasn't been anything to do with that and a lot of people will say yeah because it's a smaller game and I understand that but I feel like a lot of people my age right now have experienced them games on that console and they have brought back other stuff um, similar I guess. So I would say that that's not inevitable but I feel like that's kind of a, a, a something in the maybe bracket whether they want to do or not. Um, 
Because I feel like Switch is a platform where they can do something like that and it will do well. You know, like yeah. Um, I don't like. I don't want to compare it to Animal Crossing, but Animal Crossing, mm. like, had kind of an up and down ride, especially with um, earlier on, not earlier on, but like when, like, I think the most successful Animal Crossing game is the one on the DS, and then the 3DS kind of most people really enjoyed but it was a big leap for them to do a whole new game on the switch if you know what i'm saying and there's a lot of stuff mm-hmm. similar but for me that might just be my might be the only person on the freaking planet that wants to do that or wants that to happen but personally i would just like some new wii sports content because that was a mm. that, that was that was a banging game yeah, and they have done it similar to yeah they have done it similar to like wii fit they brought out that Wii Fit game yes, for Switch, the I think, last year. Board. The band, like the Can balance you remember board. that on the Wii? Oh, man, I've, still, I've still got ours downstairs. Like, like stuff yeah. like that, I think you're you're getting in a whole new audience. Like, yeah. uh, as yeah. well as the current one. Um, yeah, the older generation. Exactly. But we brought that's up with the Wii. All... Yeah, man, the Wii, Wii Superior console to date. Yeah. But that yeah. is my my list. I don't know if you've got anything else you want to add. Can't um, finish it off. But... No, I think that's pretty much everything. Okay. Um, well, just, uh, the only other stuff really, which are, which could well, was already games, but I'd like to see like Escape from Tarkov have a console version of the yeah. game. So yeah, if um, we're talking about like stuff just before yeah. we end here, like stuff that yeah is obviously already out and stuff i don't know like a, yes. a dlc or something that yeah because they um, showed the uh the new developing. map which looks cool yeah uh, it, it obviously it's for pc it's quite a big thing uh, a lot of players yeah. like it and mm-hmm. i think it would be cool to bring it to a console i know they've done it with uh rust but yeah i think give it give that a console release i think it'd be good i think mm-hmm. I agree. i'd definitely get it so yeah I think yeah, it's, yeah. it's times um, like that where they have to decide what they want to do. Yeah, yeah, it depends because again they can add maps, but it might be on their mind in the future to make yeah. a console version. Because I, I remember you seeing the, the the thing on Twitter when people when when it was announced they're going to be there, and mo- basically all the comments were asking whether it's going to yeah, be console, a console, console, console. Yeah. So there's a lot of people yeah. that do want that to happen. So yeah. But um, um, going over that... just quickly, um, stuff that we are expecting or or stuff that we can expect to see, stuff that we know is going to yes. happen. Yeah. I think obviously like stuff like Battlefield, we are both very excited yeah. for. I am for so that. excited for that. Um, thank you, know... Battlefield, for that trailer. By the way, yeah, that was, that was... thank you very much. Uh... Um. Never been so Dice entertained for... by a trailer in my <laughs> yeah. life. That that trailer was so else. Um, yeah. But like stuff like I guess um, that we oh, we know haven't is got coming. the the new Call of Duty. True. We're, True. That's been kind of rumored to be shown. I think they were saying Call of Duty Vanguard. I think. Yeah. Um, um, which which will be interesting to is... see what they uh, have to show. Yeah, because again they're going to be competing with uh, Battlefield 2042. I I, I just which will be think interesting. Battlefield are doing the exact opposite of Call of Duty, where yes. Battlefield yes. or Dice especially yes. they they done a few years going into war yeah. and it, they realised yeah. yeah the second game didn't do very well. It wasn't very well nah. received. Nah, Battlefield um, Battlefield One I really liked and to be honest, so did I. I I enjoy Battlefield Five because I'm Same. kind of. I don't. I don't want to say. I'm probably biased towards Battlefield. I, but I would say I, you're I biased, really enjoyed but... it. I really enjoyed it. Like the yeah, gameplay I, side I of agree. the game, and we, we I, still I, play it now when it's really wrong game, with it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's I, so I fun. Would say that Call of Duty have had the last few years modern, and now they're trying something yes. different. Yes. Whereas yeah. Battlefield are complete opposite, and yeah. if you have a war, war game or a a yeah. older game yeah. come up against the next yeah. generation. Yeah. FPS shooters like Battlefield. Then yeah, I don't think they could have done an, another like war because they've done World War One and Two. I, I just yeah, they couldn't. The only thing they could do is Cold War, but 
I, I, I was pretty sure when I saw like the glitches and it was going to be modern. I, yeah, I, 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 agree. From, I agree. From them making a new game, I was like, yeah, it's got to be. I was about 99% sure it was going to be modern. And mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. And people saying it by the trailer it's too futuristic. I, I disagree. It, I disagree. It's, it's I not. Disagree. It, like futuristic to me is lasers, man. Like yeah, like futuristic Star Wars. to me That's is futuristic. like year three thousand. Yeah, like yeah, it's modern. It's it's twenty it's years. Hundred, twenty yeah. years from now is yeah. not is not futuristic. Yeah. Futuristic is like right. flying cars. Yeah, yeah. You know? And I feel like some people forget Battlefield is a sandbox experience. It's not like it, like yeah. it, they've done well doing both realism and sandbox. Like the stuff. Mm-hmm. Like what you can do, like even I remember having a quad and just putting C4 on it, and I honestly, when when that uh, when the person got on the quad in the trailer, I thought she, she was put C4 on it and was gonna blow it up. I was like, please, <laughs> but it was still funny though the way they did it. But yeah, honestly, yeah, I, it it was a great trailer, and I think mm. people could tell Guinness that we are both Battlefield fans. You are yes. a, a fanboy. Yes, but. Um, yeah, uh, but yeah just a few it, things but... as quickly. Um, I the one thing I haven't thought put on my list that I would I I would very much like to bring up because I have just genuinely thought about it. Um, Capcom, um, yeah. obviously having Resident Evil Village out. Me and you have not played the game yet, yes. but we will at some point. I'm trying to get through them all. Um, we are trying to yeah get through the the whole story, but. Personally, yeah. um, I know Resident Evil 4 Remake is supposedly in development. It was, yeah. I think in 2019, I think this is the timeline, so 2019, they realised how well Resident Evil 2 Remake done, and fans instantly went to Resident Evil 4 because that's most of people's favourite Resident Evil game. Because yeah. of Because of the whole story. Um, yeah. And so they've done three. They've remade. They've three. done three. They 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 released three. Two's done. People, yeah, they released three. A lot of people's people, favourites two. Yeah, as well. a lot of people's favourite is two and four because of Leon. Um, yeah, and yeah. people basically went to to kept asking about Resident Evil Four remake. They said no, and then mm. a few months later, after Resident Evil Three come out, yeah. then but they're not going to say the yes, are they? No, I know, so, but it it it, can't, it turned from no, it's not a development to yes, it is in development. Mm. Meaning oh, that there was they... there was a decision there okay. that made them think, look, we actually should do this. And I I oh, think they probably changed their mind. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I believe as of I think it was September October was where the rumors come out about it being in development now. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's going to be revealed at Capcom because they have Village as mm. well. Uh, yeah, they've got the Village DLC, DLC, aren't they? What they're showing um, for that? I don't know. There, there is possibilities. Uh, I won't say them now. They could. Um, yeah. But I, would I guess... they specifically have like a Capcom thing and just show the Village DLC? Well, there, I know there's got to be something more. I, I know they've got like they've confirmed that there's going to be Monster Hunter stuff that me and you don't care about. <laughs> um, yep. But. Like I guess mm. it just depends whether they want to just have a little tease or whether they're gonna want to. Yeah, wait it would surprise me right at the end. Um, they which do some personally of... would be on my would definitely be on my list because that yeah. is one of the first. It's a high possibility, I, I think. To be honest, so I think it's a high that. possibility. Whether they yeah. whether they're gonna wait a year to mm. reveal it or not, but if those rumours are true, then it is in development now. Um, yeah. Then it's just either whether they want to reveal it now or whether it be next year but yeah. I think Capcom right now are, are doing very well because mm. to me yeah um, their strongest thing is Resident since, Evil that is their yeah. strongest I, 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 I believe 100% because yeah. they had a little bit of iffy with 5 and 6 they got into 7 2017 yeah. that, was, that was a very good game yeah. and then 2019 they brought back yeah, one of seven. the beloved um, what the most beloved Resident Evil games, which is two, and then a yeah. year after that, they done three, which is a smaller game. It was still a very good game. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I yeah. believe that it would probably be a 2022 mm. release for Resident Evil Four Remake. Yeah, um, yeah, with a potential tease now, whether yeah. they want to, because a remake is gonna come out quicker yeah. than a full game. But I don't yeah, know whether they game, want yeah. to 
leave like some room to breathe for the village yeah Depends because village has to come be. out so they exactly. might try and wait a bit i would think maybe next year it'll be maybe they could show something but it'll be out next year i think but they'll either show something now and then it come out in 2022 or they show something yeah. in 2022 and then it come out in 2022 it's one of those yeah. two i think um yeah but yeah i just wanted to bring that up because i completely forgot like Capcom would come in this year to be honest. Yeah. Um, I do have a picture <laughs> yeah. of the, the the rest of the people. So we have Ubisoft today, we have Gearbox yep. also today, we have Xbox plus Bethesda on Sunday. Yeah. We have so Square people Enix. will be expecting Halo, won't they? A lot of Yeah, people. for Xbox, uh obviously we, we're we better get go Halo. over Halo. Yeah. We we better go over Halo. Um me and Kai yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of Halo. I respect it yep. because I have a couple of people I know. We both I had know, the Master but... Chief edition back in the day with the Xbox 360. Yeah. But, yeah, um, just not my type of thing. I, okay. But... Okay. Well, I, I haven't played enough to have a proper opinion, so I'm not going to dwell too much on it mm. before we yeah. get cancelled. But we know people um, like it, so... Yeah, we, we know people like it, and I think we both yeah. respect it. Also, yeah, Xbox... Probably I Xbox's think... biggest thing. I I'd, I'd like agree. The, I'd agree. Uh, the best ex- Xbox exclusive for us is Sea of Thieves. Honestly, that that yeah. that is great. That that is a great game. Um, that is a great game. And I also honestly. think I think we can very much expect State of Decay three um, to be oh, shown. Oh yes, yeah. I played. Um, I played two. Two was. Really I, I have seen fun. a lot of two as well. And yeah, I I, I definitely think State of Decay three is going to be there yeah. at some point. And I hundred percent. I think we yeah. can confirm it's going to be more than a, a trailer. Um, yeah, that also, was a cool one they showed um, uh, last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just a full cinematic trailer. We were very yeah. blown away by that because I was. Yeah, we were trying to that. guess what it was, and yeah, I think <laughs> it I turned out it. to be. Uh, yeah. yeah, it turned out to be the probably the yeah, best. I was, thing just they had. I was saying it like jokingly. I was like, oh yeah, state state decay free. <laughs> it was, but um, also Xbox. I mean, they have recently could bought Bethesda. Uh, whether mm, they have, their Bethesda they? Yeah. games will yeah. be. I want to still show some like gameplay of Deathloop. I think, I think, yeah, they. I believe actually no, I don't think they have the marketing rights because it was on PlayStation, wasn't it? So that will be PlayStation. Oh, yeah. I will. Um, yeah. So that's, that's been pushed that. back now, isn't it? That's that has been pushed. Sept- back, yeah. Is it September now? September. Deathloop. Yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. Um, Bethesda. I mean, personally, obviously, I think the biggest thing. Or joint biggest thing is Fallout. Um, whether they have a new game in development, and for the yeah. God's sake of all hope, that's holy. I hope it's a single player game. Um, yeah. Because I know you can't speak on the games except uh, from 76, yeah. but knowing the story, uh, mm, my girlfriend and popular. her brother have are massive fans of New Vegas mm. 3 and 4. I, I have um, seen a lot of 3 and 4 and I know how it's got the hype and know why it's got the hype but I just think 76 was the wrong idea and I don't want to do it on it because we'll be here all day but I think yeah, yeah, yeah. a new Fallout game is kind of unlikely because they do have Starfield which leads us nicely onto that game which I think mm. is definitely going to be revealed yep. in some way shape or form whether it will be a release date awesome gameplay yep. all I know so far is that it's a outer space a big scale mm. game and a lot of people are excited about it and it's yeah. kind of it's getting a recognition because it could potentially be an xbox exclusive yeah which, if it is yeah. that that's a big deal for them yeah um, oh yeah i forgot as well ubisoft people oh. uh will be interested about beyond good and evil 2 ah, yeah. because that's yeah, been yeah, quiet yeah. for a while and they but quite a while ago they showed us some actual like footage i think of yeah. like space and that was 2018 that. wasn't it yeah it was and, yeah oh, what about shadow and bone yes that's another one was, that was quite, um, they were both yeah. 2018 i think so they were they were they released a while ago i remember i really i, I it impressed me what uh beyond good and evil 2 off like show yeah show See, that's the thing I think... it, it's they obviously stayed away from them last year which kind yeah. of leads us to believe that, yeah, it has to kind of be, be whenever, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I think they they might have been waiting maybe for the PS5 to come out because I don't think the PS4 would have been powerful enough to to cope true. 
with what true, they had. True. It was again we we're talking about that land to air type thing, and uh, the yeah. PS4 wouldn't be able to do that. And obviously, it's a massive scale game. Whether yeah. it will be a, yeah. a PS5. Yeah, to be honest, it wouldn't surprise me if they show it at the Ubisoft conference. That, okay. I think that could be. I, I think we out. have a bigger, bigger chance of Beyond Good and Evil 2 than, than Shadow and Bone. Because I know a lot of yeah, people kind of got yeah. backlash for Shadow they, and Bone. Yeah, they were the, saying it was like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, yeah, weren't they, with the yeah. boat? And I think yeah. maybe they've taken that time to kind of do it in a Change different way. Change it and alter it, yeah. Um, Gearbox, I know that is today at some point. Uh, let me mm. quickly check. What type I'm of games do they the, have? Not got the biggest knowledge on them. I um, don't either. But if you want to talk about something, I want Gearbox why. Software, Borderlands. Ah, so this could be the um, yeah the Marvel oh, MMO game. Colonial Marines. That that has been rumored. Yes, yeah, Borderlands. Um, maybe they'll show more in the way of uh the Wonderlands that was revealed. Yes. Um, yes. We're obviously going to expect Far Cry anyway. Six gameplay. Probably. Yeah. Four four. That'll be the main thing. I think Far Cry Six would be the kind of like a main thing oh, I think that would definitely be yeah, a main thing for them yeah um, obviously they'll have probably Bethesda. Assassin's Creed Valhalla DLC yeah, probably I think they'll that, show that, that. Yeah. maybe some Roller Champions will probably get a release date for we'll that we should we should get a release date because that. that's been in beta quite a while and that yeah, I think that'll be soon I, I honestly I think that'll be quite a soon release I don't think that'll yep. be that long for that Yeah. because when we played the uh, beta and it looked it looked kind of clean so yeah, yeah. Um, and the music's good. Xbox, and, I, oh, think I think it's got potential. That done. Square Enix. Um, yeah. There has been a. F- I've seen a couple of rumors in the past week about a potential new Lara Croft series, uh, rather yeah. than a new game. Which yes, I think for PS5 and the next gen could be a, a step in the right direction because I know a lot of people yeah. like the last game, the last last game, the the 2018 one. Um, yeah, I've I think I've seen quite a bit of the story in the gameplay. Um, yeah. I don't know whether they'd do it now because Square Enix right now have got like Final Fantasy popping off. They've got the DLC for that yes. come out. Obviously, the just new a Guardians of the Galaxy ago, they got show off. The new Guardians of the Galaxy, which is rumored. Yeah. I would very much like that to be shown. Um, just because yes. I, I'm a I'm a biased Marvel fan. Uh, I try not to be. <laughs> But at the end of the day, I'm a, um, I'm a biased Star Wars fan, completely the opposite. <laughs> but and fine. DC, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'd say anything else with Square Enix. I mean, probably the Final Fantasy. I don't yes. get wrong. The one they have Avengers at, DLC. That that is uh, confirmed. The Black Panther DLC. That's for confirmed. That. I'm very oh, excited. That, okay. Um, That's cool. Stuff for Life is Strange 3, I believe, is confirmed. Uh, um, yeah. But the Avengers, personally, because if, if you've seen the live streams, you see me talk about the game while I'm playing it. Um, and I wouldn't be streaming it if I didn't enjoy the game. But personally, the DLCs, mm. for me, have revived a lot of the fan base and a lot yeah. of the game. The, the game's basically, it is patched now. It's been patched since the PS5 yes. one back in March. Um, yeah. And I think there's a lot of potential now for the game to yes. do yeah. really well. With like Spider Man yeah. coming this year, they've got Black Panther. Yeah. Like there's a lot of heroes yeah. they can yeah. and bring in. Um, but we have the Back for Blood is on there. Um, yeah, Back for Blood 4. I think. People wanted a new Left 4 Dead. I, I think Left 4 Dead 3 is obviously the, the, yeah, the main way to go. That's what people wanted. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people were kind of let down. But not yeah. being left for dead free. Um Yeah. But I guess be it just takes off and they can link them together yeah. and they it, could, it depends yeah. how they, they wanna do it because yeah. obviously Yeah. The yeah. Are saying, people like, want a splinter cell game, don't they? A new splinter cell. Yeah, yeah. I I've That's seen a lot been of on, on people's minds for years. Yeah. Uh will Ubisoft actually do it? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately we, we do know. not I'll speak alone have that news. Um, no. Obviously, we had the Splinter Cell series that was announced yesterday. For, yes, yeah. Uh, coming. Yeah. But whether it's, they it's will in do there. a new game, 
No, they're doing a TV um, series now. You kind of expect a game. You, you, kind, fully you bring do back kind of expect the next. Yeah. It's like uh, it's like teasing yeah. us. Exactly. Exactly. Um, we know um, Naughty Dog are making a new multiplayer game, aren't they? Their first multiplayer game, I think. We do. We do. There's a few well, rooms about there's that. There's just words on that, so we yeah, don't there, there's know a few much. Rooms. We, we can't confirm yeah. nor deny. No, but no, this is. Just I would gossip. say for for Naughty Dog is the right direction. After they do yes, the factions, yeah. it will be yes, yes, um, it will I be a full multiplayer two. game, which I think. Yeah. Um, yes. I think it's a good idea because factions for The Last of Us is is very creative yeah. and a lot of people like it because of mm. it being like original. Um, yeah. I think multiplayer yeah. is a a good idea for them. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We Anything also have PC play? gaming show. Yes, um, we do. We can't really cover that too much because the the board, we've got the, the they've showed the arc the new arc, haven't they? They and have like a that cinematic good. trailer for that, but. Yeah. I don't really know how far they're into it. Uh, the Forest yeah. Two, they could. The show Forest more Two, for that. they could definitely show because the last yeah. trailer we got for that was December last year, yeah. and there's that a release long. date. Yeah. I believe it's coming December this year, so I think a trailer yeah. about now would be a good idea. Um, yeah. And then we have Future Gaming Show a couple of hours later on Sunday. Um, yeah. That's usually it's not as hyped up as Summer Games Fest because they usually kind of have a lot of smaller India type India, uh, yeah. indie games. So I um, I might give it a watch. So there's not really much to talk about for future game show, I guess, because there's a lot of yeah. people that could reveal stuff. Yeah. Uh, Take Two Initiative. No, Take Two. Take Two Interactive. Mm. Uh, my bad. They have their own thing on this page, so let me just quickly... What, they? what games have they made? Um... Ah, oh, GTA 5. Yeah, GTA oh. 6. That... <laughs> yeah, you never know. I, I, I have to be honest, I think... <coughs> That's not what I was going to say. You never know. <coughs> oh, um, Bless you. I would say, if they didn't announce... GTA 5 remaster or remake for PS5 and Xbox Series yeah. X, we could expect something for GTA 6 this year. Yeah. Um, just We say the same thing every year. So like, you we never know. It's, it's got to the point now it, when it actually hits us, we probably won't expect it. Cause just, exactly. You just never um, know. I, I don't think they're going to reveal anything till 2022 at the very least because yeah. they're not going to reveal yeah. GTA 6 now and then ask. And then, yeah. like the game's still they, selling so well that they don't yeah. need to rush and do it. Um, they also made Mafia Three. You never know; okay. they could make another they, Mafia I, they game. They have just obviously, like, done the um, definitive edition. Yeah. Yeah, which could be a good way to maybe do a yeah. A, a yeah, they never one. know. There could be another one. Yeah, because people would want to cool. play the trilogy or the 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 yeah. edition. Yeah, the before. two, the first. Two ones but the really thing is, remastered. when they have a trilogy, it's uncommon for them to then do a fourth game because it separates yeah. that. Yeah, it does from yeah. the three. Yeah, from the three. But I guess we'll see because yeah, you I know never a lot know. of people they, do they like might... them types of games. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that will be yeah. an interesting watch. We also on Monday we have Capcom, which we have talked about. Um, yeah, whether it's just going to be a, a village DLC um, or something to do with village um, I think yeah. it was last year I believe it might be this year uh, for Resident Evil's anniversary I believe yeah. I, I can't remember if it's this year or that last year but um, obviously we have the Infinite Darkness show coming up and we have mm. the Netflix series and then we have the live action yes. film there's a lot of stuff yeah. going with the franchise at the moment, and yeah, I they're think expanding it. A remake, it's good. It's like good to you see. said, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah I think it yeah. could be. Yeah, I think the anime good. series would be uh, popular. Yeah, I think I, I think it could be very popular. Um, mm. But uh, and then we also have the last three things we have, or last two things, because. We're not going to cover the E3 award show, I don't think, depending on what's revealed. Could be, could be GTA yeah. 6, and then we might cover it. But 
Probably. Yeah. Uh, then we have Nintendo <laughs> Direct on Tuesday, yeah. which I spoke about a little bit. I personally think it's going to be um, Breath of the World 2 the start. They go into a little bit of that. They'll have they'll cover all the games coming out this year, so the two Pokemon games. Yeah. Um, yes. All the things in the way of uh, I guess like yeah. small indie games are coming out. Maybe a uh, Super game. Mario Odyssey 2. A lot of people were saying that. Um, whether that's go- it, I think at the end it's going to be a one big IP to come next year. Whether yeah. it's going to be Mario Kart, whether it's going to be Super Mario Odyssey 2, whether it's going to be mm. a new Kirby game, whether it's going to be uh, like a new Star Fox game, like stuff. Yeah. I think that they, they always end on something big, and the fact that they, they said do. mostly 2021, it's not like they're out right and out like confirming that nothing's going to be shown past 2021 like mm. that kind of shot that to me kind of says that they've got a couple maybe even just one yeah. at the end but yeah, i think when we they can say expect... wait until the end you kind of know exactly um because it's not like they're gonna finish off on some rpg indie game no offense but no they wouldn't finish off like that so no. um yeah that's kind yeah. of what they did with the Elden Ring, didn't they? They kind of left that yeah, exactly. big one, Could which people a... wanted. Yeah, so which... yeah, it's fair. Uh, it's and fair then enough. the last one we have is um, Bandai, um, Bandai, which are the people who I believe do like Elden Ring, uh, etc. Uh, I'm just yeah. quickly getting up their backlog because I'm not. The biggest uh, player of their games. It's not because I no, don't like. I think they made a lot of um, Dragon Ball Z games. Oh, okay. Um, but I guess I don't. Yeah, I don't back really. On the old PlayStation. I guess we can't really speak on it too much. But I know this. No. I know for a fact they made Tekken. Um, so maybe a Tekken Eight. But I don't really know whether there's rumours about that or not. Um, I think it's been quite a while since Tekken 7, so... Yeah, I guess 20, we'll uh, 2015, Tekken 7 was. Yeah. Um, so it could could possibly, uh, but that's just talking on, like... I guess it's probably one of their biggest IPs, so maybe, yeah, but... Yeah, they made Project um, Cars. They have. They made Dark Little Souls. Nightmares, they've made, yeah, Dark Souls. The Dark Pictures. Oh no, yeah, Dark Dark Souls. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. Is there anything else you wanna talk about before we end this off, Kai? No, um, I think we've gone over everything. I don't think we've missed anything. Okay. Well, I mm. think depending on how E3 goes, whether there's big yeah. reveals or not, I think maybe me and you will sum up. We could do another yeah. video after everything, just to sum up mm. what what happens yeah. or what yeah. what we like what we didn't like what we were disappointed with yeah whether i don't know ubisoft yeah. show absolutely fuck all and yeah we're I, I guess we could cover dc quick and warner bros oh, yeah. yeah yeah with you, the fact they've got to... gotham knights which obviously has been pushed back and yeah we yeah, have yeah. the suicide squad game See, which is obviously the, the thing that worries me is that obviously they've confirmed that dc con what's it called dc fandom uh um, fandom, yeah. That's for October. When's that? Is that October? So that, okay. Yeah, that means that'll that be that'll be when they'll show there. the Suicide Squad. So 100%. I think yeah, we'll we'll definitely see Suicide Squad probably gameplay yeah. at least another trailer. But yeah, um, yeah. That was a long Knights, trailer. That was a long trailer. But like you said, Gotham Knights has been pushed back. Yeah, because that's the spin-off. What they've done for that. Yeah. Um, which is cool. It's cool to have characters like Red Hood in there. In there. Yeah, I agree. But I think I'll be playing him. Quite a lot. <laughs> they they did look quite cool. I like I like I did like yeah. how they done the characters. Um, yeah. But but I don't know. Maybe a lot of people wanted to see DC... another Arkham Knight. Yeah, I think I think some people were just kind of like, I'm not disappointed, not... but just in the way of yeah, like they didn't expect it to for them to go that way. But I get I no. guess we'll see what happens with yeah with DC. Yeah. Is there anything else to you... see? You wanted to say uh, for, again? Uh, I think they've got two games in the meta. Would I don't know? Would they make another one? Like I don't know. It'd be cool to have a game based on a villain 
instead of playing as Batman, maybe something to based on playing as the Joker, but yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, the Suicide Squad is kind of a group of villains, but true. I true, guess, true. yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say with DC. Uh-huh. So with Warner Bros, they're a little bit. They are uh, a little bit uh, hit and miss. I don't know what the word is, yeah, hit, hit and miss. I guess, in a, the nicest yeah. way possible, because... Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah I mean, uh, oh, yeah, um, Harry Potter game. Yeah, that has been delayed and been confirmed to not be shown. Yeah. Um, no. So maybe up. August. So maybe... Can... May, yeah, maybe or, at some so point. So they've got Gamescom, don't they? They do, it's they do. still to come. Which is a little bit know. worrying for that type of a game because it's heavily, like yeah, it, again it's, it's got it's another big, big fan game. base exactly, yeah. and they don't they make sure they don't want to get that wrong. Um, no, so I no. think a, del- a delay for a game is always the best thing. But yeah, I guess yeah. we will. They just need to know how long to delay it. Yeah, because it can't it not... can't fall into a cyberpunk or a Last of Us yeah. where it gets delayed no, four or no. five times. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They should have probably just said indefinitely, really, and just kind of not put a date to it. I agree. I agree. But, I think that's probably the best thing to do. But yeah, but I really like Cyberpunk, even though there was a lot of um, bugs. But the mm-hmm. game itself was still spectacular to me. The way the city's done, and just uh, I don't know the whole aspect of it. I really like. I liked Cyberpunk themed stuff, neon boards and that. Yeah. So yeah. you like a futuristic game, not 2042 yeah, isn't yeah. a futuristic game. Just no, saying. no, yeah. There's there's a big margin between being over futuristic and being modern. Yeah. I, I think if anybody's yeah. gonna take anything away from today, just just take away the fact that there's um there's a line between a futuristic game and a a modernized yeah. game. Um, yeah. So 100%. if you're one of the people that think Battlef- Battlefield is is too futuristic then um please get off the channel <laughs> please don't leave um, um, we're not we're, we're not <laughs> we're, we're not <laughs> I'm not joking but uh, I think that's probably a good time to end it if there's anything yeah. anything else I don't I think we've basically covered everything yeah we've yeah I think so I have enjoyed this I have enjoyed this I like yeah. um maybe we've got podcasts coming soon who knows but yeah. um yeah, I guess. Yeah, we've we'll, talked a lot, uh, a lot about different a, games. So we have. I feel I, like I, we've gone over. I think we've basically everybody's covered everything. different type of games. Yeah. So it's Whether not like it's a, just multiplayer, just single exactly. player. Exactly. That's the one thing I wanted to make sure we did do is just like mm. talk about stuff that we yeah enjoy because we like. We need to yeah. make sure. Yeah. Mhm. Um, sure. But I guess we'll see. Yes. Um, yes. 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 Uh, yeah. Oh. How long was that? <laughs> Do you want to know?